But it's uh, just been announced that Mason Indentation Rudolph will be starting against the Cleveland Browns. Um, this game is looking easier than ever. I mean, this Browns team, I looked at it as this year we were a great team because I thought our head coach was a great head coach. But now I'm looking at this as Freddie Kitchens went 2-2 two and two against Pittsburgh and Baltimore last year. Kevin Stefanski's 0-3 against them. Now, granted, the uh, last game we probably should have won, but our defense sucks. And he could even out the tally this week against Pittsburgh with Mason Rudolph starting. Uh, this is it. Kevin, if you don't beat Pittsburgh this week, you're pathetic. And I think we do play the Buffalo Bills if we make the playoffs, which... And I'm going to go on. Listen, I'm going to go on record right now, and I think everybody realizes this, and I've said this. I wanted Josh Allen when we had that draft. I did. I wanted him. I didn't want Mayfield. I didn't like Mayfield because what he did to Ohio State, I didn't want him. But I wanted Josh Allen. However, that being said, I loved Baker Mayfield. But if I could go back, I would still – I would probably take – I would take Josh Allen if I can go back because that's just – that's my type of quarterback. But I'm happy with Mayfield, not going to lie. But yes, Josh Allen's a beast. There's no doubt about it. And I also will say this. If Josh Allen was in Cleveland, like Baker Mayfield, and everything that happened to Baker Mayfield happened to him, all the coaching changes and all that, I think uh, Josh Allen would be never near the quarterback he is now. Just saying. Because, I mean, Baker Mayfield went through a lot of uh, tumultuous, uh, just he, he went through a lot with all three different offenses, four different coaches. So, no excuses. I like Josh Allen, but I love Baker Mayfield, but whatever. Bill's got a great team, no doubt about it. And their head coach, uh, who's not even offensive-minded, he knows how to use their number one receiver. Although, I will say this is defense against defense. You don't need two number ones, and we did with Jarvis Landry. No, he's not number one. No, Jarvis Landry's a possession one, trust me. But anyway, at least their coach knows how to handle a team, uh, I can almost assure you Sean McDermott never would have put the ball up 53 times against uh, the Jets with uh, whatever, backups, whatever. So, But anyway, let's move on from that. I'm done with that. Uh, this game here is in front of us. Uh, our, obviously, the Steelers are starting Rudolph, which means they're probably going to wrestle all their players. This should be a cakewalk for the Browns. It really should be. They should go to the playoffs. And if they don't, well, you can only imagine that Stefanski now has a lot of pressure on him because... If you can't beat Mason Rudolph, who's absolutely horrible, and I mean horrible, then you are fucking, you got to go. This is this is a game right now. I mean, and listen, I like Stefanski, and it's not an irrational movement by me to want to fire him. I just looked at the I just looked at the facts. I'm looking at guys like David and Joku, who's our best tight end. In the front office signing at uh, Austin Hooper to forty million, it's the stupidest move ever. I, I'm I'm kind of worried about the front office now. I, I never uh, a forty a tight ends are like running backs a dime a dozen to me. You can get a running back anywhere. I mean, unfortunately for the Browns, we have two great running backs, but our head coach somehow doesn't know how to use them at the same time. So I would never pay a tight end that kind of money. If I'm the Browns, I I, I would. I mean, let's look. We got a thoroughbred here in David and Joku, and we got a slow white guy here. I would get rid of the slow white guy, Harrison Bryant. I wouldn't even have drafted him, whatever. I wish I was running this team because I, I would have never spent $40 million on a tight end. But that being said, God, I wish I was the head coach of this Browns team. By the way, Belichick and me are so similar. He has the same mannerisms as me. When people ask him dumb questions, you can just tell he's just spinning his head like, fuck these clowns. But anyway, uh, this is a must win. How do we match up against the Buffalo Bills? Oh, my God. We don't. Our defense is horrible. It's going to have to be a 65-60 to 60 shootout. And, uh, you know, everyone says, no, oh, Mayfield, you can't have them throw the ball. Well, if we have our receivers, you can't have them throw the ball. We did it against Baltimore. Mayfield is capable of going five wide and three. He's capable of lighting it up. I don't know why people don't think he can. He can. I mean, it's quite evident. He's done it in college. He can do it in the pros. Uh, so I'm not concerned about a high-scoring game. That looks like it's going to have to be that because – we're not going to stop the Buffalo Bills offense. Uh, we don't have the horses on defense. And let's be quite frank here. There's about six guys on that defense that won't even be in the league next year because if they got cut from Cleveland, they wouldn't be picked up on any squad. 
So we don't have a good defense at all. I don't know why when I see these experts, uh, so-called experts talking, Cleveland's got a good defense, they run the ball. Every time they say they got a good defense, they run the ball, I laugh and I'm saying, you guys don't watch the games. The defense is horrible. If you watched the game last week uh, against the Jets, there was like uh, three touchdowns they had. There was like seven yards of separation. That's, un that's unheard of in the NFL. So this hand, Mike Tomlin gave us a gift. If I was Mike Tomlin, I would have said, you know what, my offense is playing like shit. I'm going to keep him out there another week. But in this year with the COVID, I understand what he's doing. I'm glad he gave us a gift. I don't listen. I wanted to. I want. I just want to make the dance. I don't care how we get in. I just want to make the dance because if we don't make the dance, the season's a failure. And here's how I look at it: we make the dance, success. But if we don't make the Super Bowl and win the Super Bowl, it's a failure. You have to be in the dance to have a success. And if you lose, if you don't win the Super Bowl, it's a, it's a failure. But at least you were in the dance. You have to be invited to that dance. You have to be. And I do think the Browns got a raw deal, but so did the Ravens a few weeks back when they had to play with the practice squad players. Everybody say, oh, the NFL hates the Browns. You know what the NFL, I would have liked to see the NFL do? I would have liked to see them make the game Monday night so we could have had an extra day of preparation. But I don't know if that would have made a difference for that dumbass Stefanski. I think he had in his mind he was going to throw the ball 100 times. So, I don't think it would have made a difference, but whatever. But, yeah, like I say, it was a, it was, we had close contact. And who knows, these guys may not even play this week, so we may be fucked anyway. And, uh, like, I, and if they gave Mayfield, I believe last week, if Mayfield would have threw, listen, it's obvious they were going to come out throwing against the Jets. I think Stefanski's game plan against the Jets before the receivers were hurt, they were going to throw the ball 40, 50 times, whatever. They were going to do it. That's that's my belief. And he didn't change his game plan. He said, fuck it, I'm going to keep doing it. So if we were healthy last week, we would have beat the Jets. We would have destroyed them. There's no doubt. We would have beat them like uh, 45 to 10. We would have. I think Jets fans know that. But uh, we weren't so. I think Stefanski, he's, uh, I think he's going to come out throwing against Pittsburgh, obviously. Wyatt Teller, you need a man to fuck up, boy. You got to fucking, you could propose to your girlfriend at Cleveland Stadium, but you got to play football. This is a, This is crunch time, son. J.C. Treader played with the high ankle sprain uh, the whole season, about eight games last year. You got to step up, man. I can't believe hey, I went out with it. Listen, I had a dislocated clavicle. It was popped out the hair. Worst pain in the world. And I played I played three plays. I thought I wanted to go. I said, I can't go. I couldn't go. I couldn't do nothing. I couldn't even tackle. So it was pointless. My leadership, I couldn't do it. I was a waste. But anyway, you got to go. You got a high ankle sprain. Play the fucking game. Once we get in that dance, anything can happen. Anything. And anyway, everyone asked me about the team I don't want to face. I would, I would play the Titans again. But I will say the team I don't want to face, and I'm going to tell you why. It's the Baltimore Ravens for the simple fact is our defense is bad. We don't have a defense. that We don't have a defense that can stop Lamar. We don't. And we don't have a coach that can scheme up to stop Lamar. I mean, that's just cool. That's just us. I think any other defense. I'd like Kansas City, we can outscore them. Uh... We, I mean, the thing with Lamar is, with our defense, a normal defense, they'll stop him. If they don't stop him, it'll take him 12, 13 plays. Our defense, this is why I don't want to play him. Our defense, he goes three plays. It's a touchdown. It's just that. It's boom. So that's why a normal defense will make him work for it. Our defense is the worst. I think Cleveland's Browns defense is honestly the worst defense I've ever seen. I know it's the worst Browns defense I've ever seen. This is the worst I've ever seen in my life. So um, I don't want to face the Ravens. I will say that right now. Just being factual, because we can't stop Lamar Jackson. So, uh, this is a gift to Fancy Rudolph starting. I'm curious. Uh, I want to know if he calls May, uh, Lamar. What do you call Miles Garrett the N word again? Yeah, I hope he doesn't, because I don't want to see Miles Garrett get in trouble. Anyway, this is going to be something. And uh, you got to win for us to be a success. So, Stefanski, you know what you need to do, boy.